our family. That's right. Let me tell you, there's nothing more grim than when you're in there. You're getting your tushy handed to you. You're feeling them beating you up. Your heart's pounding. You don't know how to breathe. But then I look up into our corner and I see my best pal, the best gal I know, Chris Dan Satlander, hand extended, hey. ready to come save me. And I, I will always be there for you. Always. I know. Somebody cutting onions in here, mate. And you know what's next? Tell him. Championship gold. That's right, matches our gear. We're, We're manifesting, you know? Manifestation! Intentional manifesting. people. Well, I sound like a little bit of a, like a broken record I've done. Like probably too many of these interviews after I lose, but like I thought losses hurt before when, you know, it was just me losing, but now that I have people that, <laughs> People that want to see me win, people that believe in me, people that, people that know the person and the performer that I'm capable of being when I let them down. It's like a, a new world of hurt. When I let the people down, when I let Daddy Magic down, and let <laughs> moms down. Don't worry about me. Absolutely don't worry about me, man. Come on, we lost. Do you think you're never going to lose again? Hmm? Oh, no. You thought you'd never lose again? That that was gonna be the last time. Dude, listen. Definitely wasn't the first. <laughs> took everything you got. You took did, everything you I got. I didn't get it done, though. You didn't get it done. I didn't get it done. Though. You didn't get it done. What, are we gonna cry over spilt milk? You wanna cry about it? One of the greatest of all time. And took him and three of his goddamn goons. I don't know what the hell I'm yelling at. I'm just frustrated, too. Listen, what do you think? Success is not a straight line, right? Right? Come here. Hmm. It's not a straight line. Love you. Love you. I'm just gonna lay it out to you, Brian. I talk all this shit because I, I got to, to get myself motivated. But uh, what you did uh, for me tonight, uh, Shaking my hand. That's all I ever wanted was the respect of my peers. I wanted the respect from you, Joe, Mox, Claudio, because that's what matters to me in this life is respect. Championships come and go, man, but real legacy is the respect from the boys. I don't care about promoters. I don't care about no offense to the Twitter fans or, or fans that came out there. I appreciate y'all, but what I care about is the respect from the boys. Because at the end of the day, you guys are the ones that are going to be talking about me, whether I was good, whether I was bad, whether I was a waste or not. I don't want to get too emotional, so I'm going to get out of here. I just want to say uh, thank you, Brian. Dude. Thank you for everything. You fucking earned it. Thank you. That means the world to me, man. Thank you. You know, I thought... Uh, it would hurt me more than anything to shake Eddie's hand, say that I respect him. But there was a moment in that match where I knew I fucked up his wrist. I'm good at that. I'm good at fucking people up. And I know exactly how hurt he was. And he fought through it. And there was this, just this internal moment, this internal click that Eddie, me not respecting Eddie, it wasn't Eddie. All the things that we said about Eddie 20 years ago, about how much potential he had, about how much he, how he needed to work harder, about he needed to do this, and how he needed to do that, and how he needed to change his bad habits, and, and all of that, it took him a while. But he fucking did it. And here I was, holding on to this petty f bullshit. And I realized it might have taken him longer, right? But the things that he's battled through and the things that he's struggled through, I should have given him my respect a long time ago. And, uh, dude, he earned it, and 
and me not seeing that, that's on me. But in the same way that Eddie can get past some of his struggles, I can get past mine too. And, uh, and tonight I, I'm proud of Eddie, but I'm also proud of me seeing through my own bullshit. <laughs> and, uh, and when you can do that, and you get to the other side. I might have lost tonight, but I feel good. Undisputed Kingdom, what a wild night. But what about Kyle O'Reilly? <laughs> whoa, 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 hey, hey. I'm hearing all these Melvins saying that the Undisputed Kingdom should be doing this, the Undisputed Kingdom should be doing that. Well, here's a concept you might have never heard about. Making things last. You don't just blow your load in one night, and everything that this man has said has come true starting tonight. That's right. Orange! Cassidy, I told you, for weeks and weeks, I told you, when I get my hands on you, you are done. And that's exactly what happened tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, I am your new AEW International Champion. Yes, you are. And I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. Ooh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. It right there, hey, baby. congrats to you. Thank you. I mean, what I say? You said it. What did I say? You know, I, I can't stop thinking about Jericho. Say, maybe you're just not that good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you know what? He's right. I'm not good. I'm great. Yeah, you I am the greatest thing to happen to professional wrestling. We are the greatest thing to happen to professional wrestling. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't need anybody chanting my name. Save your breath because the more you chanted my name, the more I lost. So save your energy to sing stupid songs. Save your energy to cheer for Orange Cassidy. <laughs> and just boo me all you want. I dare you to. I don't need you. The only thing I need are these guys. And together, we're taking over AEW. It's very, very appropriate mm -hmm. that tonight's AEW pay-per-view was revolution. Because that's exactly what we have started, a revolution. Uh, we have told you time and time again that we are the best thing to happen to this damn company. David and Bennett, the greatest Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions of all time. We proved it. We said Roddy Strong was going to win the AEW International Championship, and damn it, he did it. We said Wardlow was going to become the number one contender for the AEW World Championship, and he did it. Boys and girls, we are just getting started. And speaking of the AEW World Championship, you're looking at the next AEW World oh, yeah. Champion. Oh, yeah. And that championship will belong in its rightful place. AEW, we are taking over. And not only that, AEW, we're gonna make you our bitch. <laughs> That's a good night. Kyle, Kyle O'Reilly, we haven't seen you in almost two years. What just happened out there? Uh, excuse Yes, another one for the scrapbook, eh, Deanna? <laughs> Why don't you get a tattoo of that? Why don't you get a tattoo of me dropping you on your head and cracking your bloody head open, huh? Yes, a friend in need is a friend indeed. And a friend who wants my title is an idiot! Now go on, piss off back to New Jersey. What is it now? Yeah. Miss Storm, I just wanted to know how I did. <laughs> you were magnificent! Really? Yes! Look at you! I've always wanted an opening act and you were the two de force. God, you remind me of someone. I just can't think who. <laughs> oh, Miss Storm. Please, call me Tony. Really? Yes, and you know what? I want you to have all my things. I want you to have the gear, the jackets, the merchandise. I want you to have it all. Oh, Miss Storm. Please, Tony. Tony? Yes. Thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. Oh. That won't be necessary, darling. I won't need all this where I'm going. <laughs> For I am Tony Storm. My chin is up, my tits are out. 
And you will never be the same again. Come, Mariah. I have so much to show you. Luthor, get the belt. Come. 